Well, as we head through another lock on the beautiful Trent Severn Waterway, come to mind that I have never shared with you the actual procedure for get, going through a lock, other than showing you us going through the lock. So I'm going to show you how that works now. Real simple on the Trent Severn Waterway here in Ontario, Canada, as well as the rest of the historic canals, including the Rideau Canal and others. If you want to pass through a lock, the procedure is very, very simple. If you approach a lock and the gates are open, it generally indicates that you're welcome to bring your boat in. You do not have to call them ahead of time. Do not try to hail them on channel 16 on the VHF radio as the lock stations do not monitor VHF radios. If you get to the lock and the gates are closed and it doesn't look like you can get through, just simply go up to the blue line, approach the blue line, tie off if there's room, and then wait for the lock gates to open. Generally the lock staff will indicate to you, wave you in or just call you and just say, yep, yeah, you can come on in now. Uh, so like I say, it's very, very simple. You don't have to ask for permission or anything. You just gotta make sure you pay. You can either buy a season's pass ahead of time, a day pass, a six day pass, and so on and so forth. Or you can just wait until you get to the actual lock that you want to pass through and pay for it right then and there. Now once you're into the lock, you simply snuggle up to wherever the lock staff indicates where they want you to be placed in the lock. If they don't tell you, just go wherever you feel comfortable. When you get in there, there's these big black cables. They're, they're plastic wrapped steel cables and they run from the top side of the lock right down to the bottom. And depending on which way, if you're heading in from the bottom or from the top, you just take your lines and you wrap them around that cable and hold on tight. You do not cleat it back to the boat because there has to have a little bit of freedom because as the boat goes up or down, you don't want the lines to get snagged on those cables. them back to the boat and you wait till you've locked up or down you wait for the gates to open the lock staff will generally indicate to you that's okay to start your engine or engines in our case you fire up and you leave in the sequence that you came in so if you're the only boat you just go out on your own if you were the third or fourth boat in again you kind of figure it out with your neighbor or the lock staff will let you know say that boat goes first second your third fourth and so on and so forth Generally, there's not a lot more than four boats in a lock in any given lock, but sometimes it can back you in. Um, so, yeah, simple things to remember. You just approach the lock, you go in when it's your turn, hang on to your lines, don't cleat them off, and leave and say thank you very much to the lock staff for allowing you uh, to go through the lock. So that's it for this Boater Basics. Hopefully you learned something. Make sure you look down the description at the uh, for a list to my entire playlist of all this series of videos and leave me a comment let me know what you think that's it for now cheers <laughs>